Next, we're going to hand it on over to Lisa Lowe, who is also a Biden delegate and is the state lead for Texas Women for Biden. Lisa, talk to us. Do they do it bigger for Biden in Texas? We do. Hi, everyone. I am so happy to be here. I hope everyone can hear me okay. Hi there. Yes, we're doing it big here in Texas. Happy to represent. And we have some exciting video clips. Um, you know, we have 38 electoral college votes up for grabs down here, and they are Joe's to lose. We are flipping this state, and we have some fabulous, fabulous, strong, incredible female candidates. And before we get to those video clips, I think we're going to start out with actress Marsha Gay Harden, who is a University of Texas at Austin alum. So um, I believe we have her clip to run. Rachel, I think. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marsha Gay Harden. What you may not know is that I come from a long line of Texans. All my grandparents were Texans, my parents were Texans, and I graduated from the University of Texas in Austin, Hocum Horns. So I love Texas. Texas, I'm coming at you. What you do know is that Texas women are not Southern bells. Oh no, we are pioneers. We embrace change, we make change. And you know that Texas people are powerful, always, always have been, but especially now, because Texas is a swing state. So let me ask you, are you registered to vote? Do you have a way to get to the polls or are you registered by mail? And will you volunteer to help Joe with like-minded voters in Texas? Women for Biden Texas has lots of great resources and we all know that when women get together, we are unstoppable. But when Texas women get together, oh, waves of change happen. So here are some great ways that you can help with the hashtag blue wave and the election 2020. Let's make it fantastic. Thank you, Marcia. That was fabulous. Hook them horns. Yes, I'm in San Marcos, which is just about 30 minutes south of Austin. So yeah, hook them. We're, we're really big on that. Next, we have a clip from candidate uh, Seema Lajavardian. She is in Texas District 2, and she is running against Dan Crenshaw. I'm sure you guys have heard of him, SNL fame. That's not a compliment, by the way. And, you know, we have a bunch of Trump sycophants down here in uh, the great state of Texas. So what we are doing are flipping all of these districts with these fabulous, fabulous women. So let's hear from Seema. She is an incredible woman. She is an immigrant. And she's going to tell us a little bit about her story with her bio. So here is Seema. My name is Seema Lajavardian, and I'm running to be the first Iranian American woman in the US Congress and the first woman representing this district. I'm an attorney, I'm a mother of two, I'm a breast cancer survivor and an immigrant. And I've spent the past several years fighting for social justice causes to really help everybody on the ground here. Public service is not unfamiliar to me. My grandmother was one of the first women in Congress in Iran. And through sheer determination, she was able to pass the women's rights to vote back then where progress was impossible. It may look daunting to people, uh, me running against Trump's favorite Texan here, but I have defied the odds all of my life as a woman and as an immigrant. I remember as a 10 year old when my parents had to flee political revolution and upheaval, the streets of Iran just filling with revolt, being so scared of having to leave the only home that I knew and really thinking that I would give up, but I defied the odds. And then all those years later, I came to this beautiful country, achieved the American dream, was successful with my husband, with my two kids, and then heard my cancer news. You know, just going to the doctor's visit, going to the pharmacy, those long hours, just being anxious the whole time. And I really thought I would give up. But again, I defied the odds. And I think what's going on right now in our country on so many levels, it reminds me of those tumultuous times that I've been going through, really. I mean, we're living in a nation where hundreds of thousands have died from this virus. Millions have lost their jobs. And this should have been foreseen. We have a congressman like Crenshaw who's been trying to 
take away healthcare from the most vulnerable and is just spewing lies and facts about what's going on in this situation. We're living in a nation where millions are protesting injustice and brutality. And again, we have the president and his enablers like Crenshaw who wants submission without any kind of progress. And you know, we're living in a time that we may feel like our backs are towards the wall. We feel like you know, there may be no recourse. That incredible idea of the American dream of life, liberty, justice for all just seems out of reach. But I really do know that together, all of us, we can, we will, and we must defy all the odds and reinstate that beautiful American dream. So really, as your Congresswoman, I will make sure that we fight for health care for everyone. As your Congresswoman, I will make sure that we find real solutions with our climate change here. As your Congresswoman, I will make sure that we fight for our children so they're not afraid to go to school and be afraid of gun violence. And as your Congresswoman, I will fight for equality and justice for all. Oh, she's fabulous. I know her personally, Seema is fantastic. All of these women are, and by the way, we are dropping all of their links in the chat. So please be sure to follow, donate to, volunteer for all of these campaigns. They are really the epitome of Woman Up and what this night is all about, female empowerment. Next, we are going to hear from Julie Oliver. She is running in Texas District 25. She is running um, an incredible campaign against Roger Williams. Again, we're not really focusing on them. We are focusing on the fabulous women of Texas. We are here to represent for them. Let's hear a little bit about what Julie is all about and her message. Hello, Women for Biden. It's Julie Oliver, the Democratic nominee for the 25th Congressional District here in Texas. And I am so proud to be with such a powerful group of women who are committed to not only delivering the 38 electoral votes that we have here in Texas, but also flipping congressional seats, taking back the Senate and flipping the Texas House because we know what's at stake next year when we are redistricting here in Texas. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Imagine what we could do if we were legislating from the heart of a mother. Imagine what we'd prioritize, healthcare, education, the safety of our communities, taking care of our parents and our grandparents. And all of this is possible on November 3rd. We are a little less than two months away from early voting here in Texas. So do everything that you can do, whether that's signing up to phone bank, whether that's sending text messages, whether that's committing your resources to candidates. Let's finish this strong. Let's finish this together because I know what is at stake and I know y'all know what is at stake. And we can absolutely do this, so let's do it together. Thank you again for everything that you are doing for our magnificent state. And let's win big in November. Thank you so much, Julie. Now she is just a little north of Austin. And again, so inspired by all of these women. Next up, again, another fantastic woman, Dr. Lisa Welch who we had the honor of marching alongside at the Women's March earlier this year in January up in DC. Again, Texas women taking it on the road. That's what we do. We just want to take our state back. We want to take our country back. Uh, Lisa is in, um, let me get this right, in House District 28. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's in Texas District 12. I apologize for that. And she is actually running against Kay Granger. Now, Kay is one of those Fourth of July traitors. She went to Russia. We don't know why she has refused to hold a town hall ever since she did that last year with a whole bunch of other Republicans. They went to Russia on the 4th of July. I don't know. We need to find out why they did this. No one knows why they did this. But, um, Lisa's running in that district because we need to bring integrity, honor, and trust back to House District 12. So um, yeah, let's listen to Lisa Welch and let, let's hear what she has to say. Hello, Women for Biden. I'm Dr. Lisa Welch. I'm running for the 12th Congressional District here in Texas. 
I am proud to be here tonight with so many strong and powerful women in support of our next president, the 46th president of the United States of America, Joe Biden. As a scientist and an educator, a mother and a nana, I know how important it is that we get this election right this time. We need to make sure that we have health care for everyone, that we protect our environment for the future generations, and that we treat every human with decency and respect. I ask that you support our candidates up and down the ticket by volunteering, contributing, and even by just going out and talking to your families, friends, and neighbors, displaying bumper stickers and yard signs to support the Democratic ticket here in Texas. We have many powerful, strong candidates from the top of the ticket all the way down to the bottom. There's a storm brewing here in Texas, and it's going to bring about the change that we want to see in our country. Thank you so much, Lisa. That was so cool. I love that metaphor so much. Okay, next up, again, another fabulous, fabulous woman, Dr. Elis Markowitz. A lot of us literally descended upon Katy, Texas for three weekends of action earlier this year, back in January to help her out. And we're gonna do it again to make sure she crosses the finish line in November so that she wins her election. Uh, Eliz is, when you hear her, you will see what I mean. She is absolutely a firecracker. Um, Eliz is running in House District 28 against Gary Gates, and we are all in it for her. She is in it for the state of Texas. She is in it for our country. Let's listen to what Eliz has to say. Good evening, Texas Democratic women. I'm Eliz Markowitz, and I'm running to be your next state representative for Texas House District 28. As a native Texan, I know what it means to be Texas tough. As the daughter of an oil worker and a teacher, I was raised with Texan values of independence, grit, and determination. My mother was a teacher who taught me that it was our job to be role models for the students in our society. We needed to teach them to stand up for what they believe in, even when it's not popular. And I've taken that to heart as an educator myself. I am so excited to be able to be on a ticket with Joe Biden, a man who will be our next president, who has a moral and ethical compass unlike any other. And I'm even more excited to have our first woman of color, Vice President Kamala Harris be elected in November. It's a testament to our American values that we are electing such a diverse slate of individuals from the top of the ticket all the way down ballot. We have a challenge ahead of us, but we will win this election. But we need your support. We need everybody to become activated. Tell their friends, tell their family, tell their neighbors that they need to go out and vote. This is the most important election of our lifetimes and together we can make the change that we seek. But I need y'all to woman up, pull on those pants, get out to the polls, vote your conscience, make sure you vote Biden-Harris and let's make her street. Looking forward to seeing y'all on the trail and let's get this done team. Okay, y'all, I am not even playing when I tell you she's like that 24-7. She wakes up like that. She goes to bed like that. That is Elis Markowitz all the time. She is fantastic. Okay, last but certainly not least is the woman running in my district right here in Texas 21, the fabulous Wendy Davis. And can we just first stop and just say thank you to all these magnificent women. I reached out to them and I am not kidding when I say before the end of business on day one, they all said, what can we do to help the women of Biden? All of them were in, all of them wanted to help out. They were so excited about tonight's watch party for the first day of the convention, Michelle Obama speaking. They were all in for this. They were just so happy to contribute. 
Wendy Davis, I know I don't need to say a lot about Wendy, but she is a legend around these parts down here. I know many of you know who she is. She, her race down here is against Chip Roy. Now he has put out a lot, I mean a lot of misinformation. I mean, just a couple weeks ago, he uh, went so far as to say that if you've had the common cold, you are immune from COVID. Hi, hi. That would mean that the uh, over 160,000 Americans who have succumbed to it have never had the cold. So yeah, we need to get these women into office so we can put a stop to all of that nonsense. And Wendy Davis in my district is the woman for the job. We need to get her in. We need to get, again, honesty, integrity, on. I mean, just all of that into my district so that my family, my son, my children are safe and secure. Let's listen to Wendy. You're going to love this. Hello, Women for Joe Biden, Wendy Davis here, and I'm so excited to be joining you all virtually this evening in your support for the next president of the United States. You may remember me in my time in the Texas Senate when a lot of people came to know my name from a 13 hour pink sneaker wearing filibuster that I conducted along with thousands of other people who showed up to our state capitol in June of 2013 fighting for women's reproductive rights here. But now I'm running for Congress. And though it has always been the case that putting myself forward for public service has been a journey where I bring my loved ones top of heart and top of mind, this particular race is more important to me than probably any other that I've run. And that's because this one is about my granddaughters. I now have a four and two year old granddaughter. Um, their names are Ellis and Sawyer and fighting for the future that I wanna secure for them means absolutely everything to me. One of my dear friends in the Texas legislature once said that change happens when mama bear gets mad. And what I would say to him now is that you ain't seen nothing because change will really happen when grandma bear gets mad. And this grandma bear, and I know all of you are ready to see the kind of change that we want our children and our grandchildren to inherit. So now is the time for us to dig deep, fight harder than we've ever fought, register every human being we can possibly talk to to vote and to turn them out in this election. Thank you for your hard work. My money is on you because I know that we are going to woman up we're going to get this job done. We're going to elect Joe Biden as our president, and we're going to have a fantastic ticket all the way down of amazing men and women who will be elected this cycle because of your hard work. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I, I just want to take a quick second to say that, you know, Texas, I'm just very honored to be able to be one of the leads for Texas. I am in this for Joe Biden because I am a Mexican American woman with a special needs son. My family is threatened every single day by the Trump administration. So I am doing everything I can, not just for my family, but for families like mine to make sure that we get Joe Biden and Kamala Harris into the White House this November. Um, one of the first things that really connected me to Joe uh, was empathy. I lost my first husband 31 years ago, and I see that connection with Joe. It's sincere. It is there. Anyone who has been through any kind of a tragic loss can see that with him. I was very fortunate in that I got to say my goodbyes in person, unlike the thousands and thousands of Americans right now who don't have that luxury and have to do it through an iPad or through a cell phone. We need to put a stop to that madness. We need to get Joe into the White House. We need to get a task force in place. We need to get kids out of cages. We, we need to do so much for our fellow human beings. And that starts with a compassionate, decent, hardworking man like Joe Biden. 
Thank you so much for giving Texas a bit of time tonight and for listening to the fabulous candidates running in our great state. We are so determined to flip this state. And anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you to all of the wonderful women of Texas. Y'all really do do it bigger, I gotta say. All right, I'm gonna stop talking like that, but that was fantastic and seriously, thank you. Um, we